Welcome back to The Perspective. Uh, Chairman, you were very much a, a part of uh, the policy making when we, when we talk about the, the last 14 chapters of uh, policy, economic policy package. Now, um, and you, you were uh, seeing investors are seeing, uh, you're beginning to see action from investors in the last uh, two quarters, entering the fourth quarter. What, what is uh, the main, the government's main challenges in, in implementing and making sure that this, this, this packages uh, rolled out nationwide. Right, right. You know, I, w I would have to admit uh, it's mindset, mm -hmm. right? Um, all of us in the bureaucracy, uh, in the government, uh, both at the center, at the capital, uh, as well as in the regions, really have to change our mindset. Uh, that's why uh, President Jokowi's campaign slogan of mindset revolution, uh, I think, is still very applicable. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to give you an example, um, you know, a lot of times I feel uh, collectively we still don't realize how fierce is regional and global competition. Yeah. Um, you know, countries like Vietnam uh, and also old rivals like mm -hmm. Thailand, Malaysia. Uh, they're stepping up their game, mm -hmm. right? They're deregulating, uh, they're modernizing, uh, they're investing in their human capital, in uh, forming trade agreements with major economic blocks like right. Europe uh, and so on. Um, and uh, we have to we have to develop a sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. right? We have to understand that if we don't move with great speed and with great urgency, we are going to be left behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something the President has explained on so many occasions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I think the message is catching on. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we're seeing changes, mm -hmm. um, especially uh, the upper, upper layers of the bureaucracy. I think the Directors General, mm -hmm. Secretary General, uh, certainly ministers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they're getting the message. Uh, many governors, uh, many enterprising governors, many enterprising uh, bupati, you know, regency heads, mm -hmm. and even uh, some very enterprising mayors are really getting the message, right, that we have to uh, compete with spirit. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and look, uh, I think uh, uh, the, best, the best way to persuade, I think, is with results. Yeah. Um, and I think we are seeing extremely good results in places like Surabaya, uh, also of course here in Jakarta. Uh, there's uh, certain bupatis like uh, Bantaeng yeah. in uh, Sulawesi, yeah. uh, Banyuwangi uh, in East Java. Uh, and uh, uh, it's striking, it's striking. I just came back from uh, Kupang <coughs> uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, East Nusa Tenggara. Mm -hmm. And even there, there's uh, striking progress. Um, so I think we, we want to showcase how these reforms, and if you implement them seriously, really do translate into concrete results uh, that are appreciated by the people. Uh, you know, really translate into concrete achievement. Uh, it's probably the best way to really uh, instill a sense of urgency uh, in, in our mindsets. Okay. While you're talking on the subject of competition and how Indonesia will have to force itself to catch on to our neighboring countries, especially Southeast Asia, AEC, the Asian Economic Community, an integration that is meant uh, to uh, further unify and um, um, make Southeast Asia fourth, third largest uh, economy. Do you think Indonesia, what, how can Indonesia take the lead on this as, as the founder of Southeast Asia? And this, we have come to the first anniversary of AEC since it, it was launched. Where are we at the moment? Well, Florence, to me, the ASEAN economic community, right, the AEC, with all the uh, treaties among the 10 uh, ASEAN member states right. uh, and all the uh, rules and regulations governing the ASEAN economic community. In my view, that's merely catching up to a reality that's already there. Okay. Right. So in this case, I see the governments as following the private sector, not leading. Um, uh, I think the AEC is just an acknowledgement of the fact that the 10 ASEAN countries are integrating rapidly. Uh, the fact of the matter is we have open borders, mm -hmm. right? People mm -hmm. can travel freely uh, between Philippines and Thailand and Indonesia and Malaysia and Singapore. 
Uh, people are traveling freely. Yeah. People are trading quite freely. Yeah. Uh, when I was Minister of Trade, uh, I met plenty of young entrepreneurs who are exporting to Singapore, exporting to Malaysia, uh, exporting to uh, the Philippines, uh, also importing. Um, so uh, regional integration is a fact uh, that is already happening. Uh, now to your question, how can we win? Right? How can we uh, come out on top uh, in this uh, ASEAN economic bloc? Um, well, uh, it's pretty similar to a company. Uh, we have certain natural advantages and we have to use them, mm -hmm. right? Uh, clearly, the size of our domestic market is one. Uh, but look, let me give you a quirky example, right? Um, I actually think that our culture uh, can be a secret weapon. Um, and what I mean is this. I think our culture is acknowledged all around the world as warm, uh, good-hearted, uh, hospitable. welcoming, hospitable, uh, polite, mm -hmm. soft-spoken, mm. um, and uh, you know, other countries might have uh, higher work ethic, to be very honest. Uh, they might have a uh, uh, more intense attitude, right? more uh, ferocious, uh, but, you know, but they might not be as friendly and warm, right? So we have to organize our strategy around this strength. Uh, so to me, for example, it would mean that we should be world class in tourism, yep. right? Uh, I believe one reason why Garuda can be one of only eight airlines in the world that's rated five star by Skytrax right. is because of service, right? Um, uh, and, and I do think, uh, 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 you know, around the world, people want to do business with, with people they like, right? I, I believe we're very likable. We're very likable and welcoming and, and warm, uh, tolerant people. And that's uh, an advantage that we have to foster and, uh, and take advantage of. Yeah. Now, while we're on that subject, one last question before we go for, uh, for, for a break is, we understand that governments understand, policymakers understand that, uh, the concept of AEC. You know, like you said, it's a fact that is actually just actualization, actually, uh, actualizing it. However, do you feel that this is the, sa the same perception trickles down to the business community and to the public in general? Right. Do they understand, has, as businesses in these 10 countries understand what it means to have an open market? For them to be able to, to make full use of, of the free flow of goods, services, and right. uh, um, products? I would say it's uneven. Mm. Uh, there are certain regions which totally understand it. Mm. Uh, I have to give a positive example with uh, East Java, uh, East Java province. Oh. Uh, I think uh, I have to admit they're very impressive. Uh, they have uh, opened a rep office in Singapore, the East Java province. They do regular road shows mm -hmm. uh, around the region. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think they, they're really on the ball, you know, really switched on. Uh, and. Uh, promoting themselves very well. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very can-do spirit, mm -hmm. very practical. Um, uh, you know, they're penetrating new markets. Right. Um, so uh, other, regions, uh, other regions, perhaps not so much, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so I would have to admit it's very uneven. Mm -hmm. But again, I think uh, the best way to persuade is with concrete examples, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we should look at the success stories mm -hmm. and share those success stories across to other uh, provinces to other regencies. Um, I think uh, the business community, uh, similarly uneven. I think uh, there's many, many companies which are already quite multinational, um, but there's still many others who, who have not yet tried. Right. Um, now, again, it's probably a rev revolution in mindset that we need to implement in the business sector as well, right? right? right. Like, don't, don't just uh, be satisfied with this market, right. even though it's a big one, mm -hmm. uh, when you can address a market that's uh, three times bigger mm -hmm. uh, just by going next door to mm -hmm. our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was leading up to you, you to, to the fact that you said that uh, in terms of AEC, the governments are following the private sector. Yes. They're, they're taking the lead in, in terms of integration. We'll talk more about the role of BKPM in boosting investment in the country when we come back after the short break.